Hi everyone, it's Femi Lanio here and in this video, I'll be showing you how to do the spot trading on the KuCoin app. Now, this video will be a complete guide where I'll be showing you everything step by step. So even if you are new to the KuCoin app or you are a beginner, this video will be easy for you to understand. Now, the first thing you need to do is to download the KuCoin app on your phone and sign up. And if you don't have a KuCoin account yet, you can sign up through the link in the description of this video and get 10% discount on all your trade fees. So once you sign into your KuCoin account, the next thing you need to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I make videos on personal finance, cryptocurrencies, the stock market and how to make money online. So if you love content like this, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. So once you like this video, the next thing is to deposit money into your KuCoin wallet. Now, I already made a video that will show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to deposit money from your bank account directly to your KuCoin account in Nigeria or any country. So the link to that video will be in the description of this video. Now, once you've deposited money into your KuCoin account, the next thing is to transfer your money from your main account to your trading account. Now, what you need to know is that if you go to your assets on the app, you see that at the top of the screen, you have a main account and a trading account. So once you deposit money into your KuCoin account, it will go directly to your main account. So if you now want to use the money to trade, then you have to transfer it from your main account to your trading account. Now to do that, you come to where you have transfer right here and tap on transfer and then you tap on the crypto you want to transfer. So let's say you want to transfer your USDT right here. So you can see that from main account to trading account. If you want to change it, just tap on the drop down arrow and pick whichever account you want to transfer to. So you can see that you have the futures option. So if it's that you want to trade futures, you transfer it to your futures account. But this video is for sport trading. So it's a peak trading account. So the next thing is to enter the amount of USDT you want to transfer. So let's, for example, you want to transfer 150 USDT. Enter 150 USDT and tap on confirm right here. And just like that, the money will be transferred to your trading account and you can now use it to do spot trading. Now, the next thing is how do you now do the spot trading on the KuCoin app? The next thing you need to do is to tap on the trade icon at the bottom side of the screen. So once you tap on the trade icon, it will take you to the spot trading page on KuCoin. Now, the next thing is where you can pick the trading pair you want to use. So at the top of the screen, you see where you have BTC slash USDT. You tap on it right here. And where you have this search bar, you enter the crypto pair you want to trade. So let's say for example, it is, um, let's say BNB you want to trade. Just search for BNB slash USDT. So you can see it's at the top right here. Just tap on it. And let's say, for example, you want to do your analysis and see the candlesticks. You tap on this candlestick icon at the right side of the screen. And if you tap on it, it show you the candlestick of this market. As you can see right here, this is where you can select your time frame. And to select your indicator, you tap right here where the arrow is pointed to. So you can select your indicators right here. Now, in case you want to learn how to use your time frame, how to use your indicators, how to do analysis, how to know when to buy and when to sell, you can register for my crypto trading course. The link will be in the description of this video. So let's go back to the sport trading page. Now, the next thing is to pick the order type. So you can see where the arrow is pointing to where you have limit. You tap on the drop down arrow beside it. You see that you have different options. You have the limit order, the market order the stop limit order and the stop market order. So let's start with the limit order. So you pick the limit order. The limit order means that you have the chance to set the price you want to buy or sell. Now as you can see where you have limit bracket USDT, that's where you enter the price at which you want to buy. So we are buying first. So let's say for example, you want to buy at $328. You can see the current price now is $329. So let's say for example, you want to wait for it to come down a little bit for you to buy, or even if you want to buy when it goes higher, whichever price you want to buy is your choice. But right here, you enter the price at which you want to buy. So you, let's say you want to buy at 328, for example, you enter 328, and right here, you enter the amount of BNB you want to buy. So let's say for example, you want to buy like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 BNB, you enter the amount right here. So let's enter 0 0.2. BNB and right here you'll be seeing the price or the amount you'll be spending. So you're going to be spending 65.6 USDT to buy 0 0.2 BNB. So that's just the meaning. And then at the bottom side there, you tap on buy BNB. 
and then you enter your trading password so while creating your account you'll be asked to input a trading password so make sure you don't forget your trading password so once you've entered your trading password you see your order under the open order at the bottom side of the screen now the reason why this is under the open order is because it has not gotten to the price at which we want to buy or that at which we want to enter the trade so you can see the order price is 328 usdt and right now the price of one bnb is just 329 usdt so once the price of one bnb gets to 328 usdt the order will go through and then you will have bnb in your wallet so that is just how the limit order works so you can set the price you want to buy and then the order will not go through until it gets to that price at which you want to buy i hope you understand so let me cancel the trade and use the market order so if you want to cancel you tap on cancel right here so let's say for example you want to use the market order just change the limit to market right here so let me change it to market so for market it means that you want to buy immediately or at the current price of the market you are not setting any price you just want to buy instantly so what you just need to do is just enter the amount of usdt you want to spend so let's say for example you want to spend 150 usdt just tap on done and then once you tap on bnb right here the order will go through immediately the order will not be under the open order so if i go to my asset right now and go under trading account you see that i have bnb of about 149 usdt so you can see you have bnb in your wallet instantly so that's the difference between the limit order and the market order now let's say for example you now want to sell so let's say for example you've already bought the crypto you want to buy and then it has gone up and maybe you want to sell and take your profit you tap on sell right here beside buy you tap on sell and let's start with the limit order so for sell too you have different option we have the limit market stop limit and stop market so let's pick the limit order so for limit order again you have the chance to set the price at which you want to sell so let's say for example remember we bought this at 329 so let's for example we want to sell when it gets to like let's say um 400 usdt for example so you just come right here and erase this 328 and enter 400 so that means this order will not go through until the price of one bnb gets to 400 usdt and right here you enter the amount of bnb you want to sell so let's say for example you want to sell all the bnb in your wallet let's say you want to sell everything instead of entering the amount just tap on 100 percent right here so if you tap on 100 percent you see the total amount of bnb you have that you want to sell so once you've entered that just tap on sell bnb at the bottom side right here once you tap on sell bnb the order will go straight to your open order the reason why it is under open order is because it has not gotten to the price at which we want to sell remember i want to sell when it gets to 400 usdt so this trade won't go through until one, the price of one bnb gets to 400 usdt so i hope you understand so let me cancel and use the market order so you just change this limit right here to market so once you change it remember you are selling instantly for market order just just enter the amount of bnb you want to sell let's pick 100 percent again so that means you are selling everything so once you pick 100 percent you tap on sell bnb right here so if i go to my asset right now you see that i don't have bnb anymore you can see that i have usdt 149 usdt and then bnb is just 0.01 dollars so you can see that it has sold instantly so that's the difference between the limit order and the market order now what about the stop limit so let's say for example you want to use the stop limit order now for stop limit order it allows you to set your stop loss so let's say for example you have a stop loss and you want to put in your stop loss right here so where you have the stop bracket usdt that's where you're going to enter your stop loss so for your stop loss you can enter let's say for example you want your stop loss to be at 310 usdt for example so you can see your stop loss is 310 usdt and your take profit is 400 dollars so where, this place where you have limit bracket usdt you enter your take profit so let's say it's 400 dollars and then right here where you have amount bnb you enter the amount of bnb you want to sell so let's say for example again you want to sell everything just tap on 100 percent so you want to sell everything and then you tap on sell bnb at the bottom side of the screen right here for this the order will be under the stop 
orders this is because you have a stop loss so this is the simple way to do spot trading on the KuCoin app and also let's say for example you now want to withdraw your profit or your money to your bank account i have a video on that that will show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to withdraw from your KuCoin app directly to your bank account in nigeria or any country so the link to that video will be in the description below